Good morning again, guys. I uh, hope everyone's having a great, fantastic start to their weekend, and I'm going to make it that much more better by uh, talking about this coin that sold on Great Collections last weekend. Now, it's a 1947 Lincoln Wheat Cent, and uh, the date in itself is extremely common, okay? But finding nice, high, high-grade specimens can be kind of a task for a lot of people, especially those that are looking for the highest top pop, something they could fill into the registry and feel good about it. Uh, I think the one thing that plagues a lot of these mid 40s into the 50s dates uh, are nicked up planchets before strikes and uh, carbon spotting as a result of the, uh, the final rinse that the mint used uh, during its day, which by the way, it's plaguing a lot of the newer scents today. However, the interesting to point out about this coin, okay, albeit it graded a PCGS Mint State 67 Red, which is a really nice grade, but there is a grade higher than that in a 67 Plus that does exist. The total population of regular 67 Reds graded by PCGS comes in at 25 pieces. So there are 24 other examples of this grade in this date that exist somewhere out there probably stacked you know in really nice registry sets so on and so forth but let's let's talk let's talk a little bit about what makes this valuable okay because once i tell you what the perceived price guide value by pcgs is it's gonna it's gonna leave you scratching your heads okay so the mint state 67 red price guide example i know we're not supposed to go off of price guide values when it comes to how much they're really worth uh 1850 dollars 67 plus is 3750 so it's you know it's pretty much double the price double the the bid or whatever for a plus designation on the slab however this one sold for six thousand four hundred and sixty nine dollars Okay, so that's about $5,600 above and beyond the 67 price guide quote of $1,850. So there's got to be something about the coin, or maybe it's the slab, that drove the price of this thing to four times the actual you know, value of the thing. And um, hopefully this will shed some light for you all right first and foremost okay one of the things that drives the value of a coin in graded plastic slabs especially pcgs is the generation of slab it's in okay this particular example as you see right here is graded in one of pcgs's older generation uh they call it oghs which is an old green holder uh you could tell by the label on there this one was graded probably during the 80s at some point. During this time period, grading wasn't as conservative as it is today. Okay, they're a lot more stringent. A coin like this, if you were to resubmit it, would probably have a really good chance of hitting a plus designation or maybe even higher at 68. You just never know. Um, there are a couple carbon spots on the coin that I think prevent it from hitting that 68 level. It's a gorgeous coin, don't get me wrong, but being that it is in a old green holder will certainly drive the price up because a lot of people today feel like the coin is undergraded based off of like a little bit more conservative grading standard today. Another thing to note is this one does have the green uh, CAC uh, sticker uh, right, right on the slab, okay, which simply means that a third-party um, coin grade authentication group um, in fact where, where they uh, coin acceptance I, I don't know what the um, what it breaks down to as far as what CAC means you can go on their website I don't use them uh, because it is an extra cost service but usually coins with the green or gold CAC label would drive the price up as well so you get a coin that People feel like it's undergraded. It's an old OGH PCGS holder plus the green bean CAC sticker. 
All those things combined are the only things that I could figure out would drive the price of this coin to be four times what it's worth. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, it's not so much a, hey, you know, go ahead and find one of these because it's, uh, it's not as easy as it appears. You're going to have to search through many thousands of coins to find the one premier example that you see before you. But anyways, I appreciate your guys' time. If you have questions or comments, uh, again, this is another, you know, topic in the foray of grading, okay, and what it's all about, um, which exponentially drives the value of regular mundane coins to obscene levels, uh, you know, and a lot of it has to do with a, a legionnaire type of group of people that collect on the highest scale, the highest tier of coins, and that's why, you know, even regular modern coins sell for a few thousand, three thousand dollars is because there are people that are looking for this type. Anyways, I appreciate it. Please subscribe to Blue Ridge Silverhound. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I shall talk to you soon. Take care.